Today we are going through our end of the massive 2022 end of year whiskey haul, whiskey store haul that I did. This is part two. Let's get through this. I'm excited. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video and checking out the channel. I am so thankful. You guys got me over a thousand subscribers and we keep on climbing. So thank you so much for all of you. Now, if you're not yet subscribed, please do so. Please help me out because a thousand subscribers was definitely not the end goal. It's just a start. We are gonna keep moving up. Yes, we are. And it's gonna be with your help, but I promised a live stream, right? We're gonna do some giveaways, some bourbon, some whiskeys, some goodies. So join that live stream Wednesday, the 25th at 9 p.m. And if you don't know how to get into the giveaway, check out the video that I did on the Cigar Blend review because I put a lot of information there. So go check out that video and you'll see how to actually get put in to the giveaway. Now, what are we doing today? Well, we are going to finish off our end of year 2022 whiskey store haul showcase or show off or whatever the hell you want to call it because this is part two of that these are bourbons whiskeys that i got received purchased took collection of <laughs> before the end of the year and you know we had a lot part one had like 14 12 to 14 um this has like 10 i believe so there was a lot. So I save up my money for the end of the year and for January, actually, because that's when stores put out their stuff. So this is part of that. I got some bottles now in January that I haven't been able to find in 2022. So happy for that. So that's what I saved my money for, guys, because that's when I've seen for the last two years that uh, places put out their inventory, stuff that I've been looking for, stuff that I haven't been able to find in the previous months that's when I actually find it in my area. So, excited for that. We're gonna get into that, but first, let's do our inaugural cheers. I have a little bit left of this one, so cheers. That is very surprisingly good. And I'm gonna tell you why I say that, right? But it is surprisingly good. This is good. I will tell you why, but let me show you this first. Whiskey Corner Glencairn glass right i just got these in excited and they look great these are going to be one of the things that i give away in the giveaway on the live stream so again go on and see how to actually get put in for the live stream um, or for the giveaway but this is going to be one of the things i'm not sure if i'm going to do one or two but we're going to give giving away uh, at least one glass for sure so definitely be on the lookout for that now the reason getting started i say is that this is surprisingly good is because normally this bourbon gets a really bad rap and i get why i guess because a lot of people are looking for it it doesn't like I guess, stand up to the hype but overall it's it's a really good bourbon i think and that is the willet bourbon yeah the nice the counter um bottle is i guess a plus but this bourbon is actually not bad. And maybe I'm saying that because I came into this thinking that it was gonna be bad and it really pleasantly surprised me. So I'm excited about this. That is what I'm drinking and I could see myself reaching for this. And then you get to keep the bottle. So win-win, right? 50 bucks is what I bought this for and I'm glad that I did. So Livewire Whiskey did a Sant, uh, Secret Santa, sorry, a Secret Santa for their end of the year, right? And if you don't know Live Wire Whiskey, go check out their channel. I'll put it up here or here. And my Secret Santa was Michelle from Women of Whiskeys. Again, check them out here or here because Women of Whiskeys is a really good channel as well as Live Wire Whiskey. But for my Secret Santa, Michelle sent me Jefferson's Reserve Old Rum Cask 
finish. This is a twin wood, 90 proofer. I normally don't like Jefferson's Reserve, but there are some of their offerings that I'm excited about. This is one of them, because I do like my rum finish whiskey. So can't wait to get into this and actually open it up. Haven't opened it yet, but I am excited about it. So that cost me nothing, because it was free. It was a gift, so thank you, Michelle. Talking about gifts, I got this gift from my brother for Christmas. One of the things that he got me, and it has an amazing presentation. This is Walking Stick Single Barrel. It's a 90 proofer. Don't know too much about it, but I did hear uh, somebody at ABC Wine, because this is from ABC Wine, um, that this has something to do with Buffalo Trace or Sazerac back in the days, then they split off. So some of the same process or mash bill, I think, <laughs> is used for this. I gotta get more info on that. I'll tell you down here if I'm full of crap or not, but at least that's what I kind of overheard them talking about. So I am excited to get into this, taste this, but I actually do like this presentation, so I don't know when I'm actually gonna get into it. I guess we'll see. This cost me nothing, it was free. So around the same time that I got that Willet Potsdale, I walked into a new liquor store that I've never seen before. Um, they didn't have too much stuff, but I did see this that actually caught my attention because I'm trying to get more into American whiskey. You know, the non-bourbon, non-scotch, but just American whiskey. And this is Nassif Family Reserve, 107 proof American whiskey, you know. Got it on a whim, don't know if it's good or bad, but cost me about 65 bucks. I'm excited to get into it because I actually am interested in this. So we're gonna open this up. A few days later, I went back to my ABC One. I actually saw this on their website. I bought it right away and I went to go pick it up because I just saw uh, Jason's from the Mash and Drums review on it and I had to get it. I'm talking about Bunahaben 12 cast strength. So you guys should know that I love my Bunahaben 12. That is, that goes up there as one of my favorite um, Scotch whiskeys. But this being a cast strength, I had to get this. This is actually a 2021 edition, but that's all they had. And this is 55.1% alcohol. So 110.2 proof. Yeah, on a Scotch whiskey. Oh, I'm excited to get this um, and taste it. And Jason, yeah, he definitely gave it a good score. So I cannot wait to get into this. This was about 89 bucks. This next one um, kind of made a little bit of controversy when I talked about another one. So we're talking about Lucky 7, right? I made a mistake getting a 6 year instead of a 12 year, yada, yada, yada. I mean, sorry, a 6 year instead of a 14 year, yada, yada, yada. We're moving on. But that doesn't take me away from buying more stuff from Lucky 7 because that was my fault, not theirs. And I bought one that I was looking for for a while. Lucky Seven Holiday Toast. This is double oaked, 115 proof. I cannot wait to get into this. Lance at Whiskey Tornado actually reviewed this and I trust his palate. And he gave this a really, really good rating. So I cannot wait to get into that. So we're gonna get into the big heavy box. So bear with me. Uh, you guys may be seeing that this was actually here in my thing, but this is Derringer bourbon whiskey. So this bad boy was only 89 bucks and look at the damn presentation. This thing, this thing just, wow. <laughs> I mean, I could just have this there, just listed in my bar without even touching it. So this cost me only 89 bucks, comes with that cool Derringer bottle stopper and I heard this whiskey isn't that good, but I don't care. Just to even have it on display is worth it to me. So definitely glad I bought it. 89 bucks, not a bad choice. Talking about boxes, well, this is probably the most expensive one that I bought in my area, or quite honestly, maybe all year. Um, but like I said, I saved my money up, and this was 2022 Garrison Brothers Cowboy Bourbon. 250 bucks. Yeah, it was pricey, but I've tasted this. Somebody gave me a little taste of their bottle that they bought 
and I was I was floored by it. I was like, I need to go and get that. So, yeah, definitely excited about this, and uh, definitely want to open this up. So, we're gonna do that on camera one of these days. So this next one, shout out to James Street because he sent me a sample of it, and I haven't gotten into it yet but I haven't tasted this but everybody is talking really good things about it so can't wait to actually taste it and thank you James for sending that sample because you know then I won't have to open this one uh, too quickly but I was able to acquire the Woodford Reserve Masters Collection 2022 118.4 batch proof. Now, I only paid a little bit more than MSRP for this. I think like $10 more. So I think MSRP, if MSRP is $130, then I paid $140. If it's $135, I paid $145. I know that when I was there at the store, I looked it up and I was like, okay, that's not bad. 10 bucks more. So I'll, I'll put the actual price here, but not bad. I was excited. I've never seen these in my area except for the five stout malt or whatever the heck that is. But excited to get this, I was able to find it and at a good price like that. So yeah, definitely, definitely happy for that one. Last one I got, and this is one that, you know, is, it, you can find it everywhere, but I actually haven't been able to find it in a lot of places because it's caught on so much, but I was finally able to replace a bottle that I finished and that is Sagamore, I'm showing you the wrong side, Sagamore Spirits double oaked rye. So this is just amazing. I know that you guys seen other people talk about this. This is such a great rye at only like 60 bucks. You cannot beat this. And yeah, I bought it. I finally saw it and everywhere that I go, they usually have it sold out. So yeah, I saying if you see this in your area, definitely pick one up because yeah, People are catching on and they're starting to get sold out everywhere. So excited to get this. So those were the bourbons, whiskeys that I was able to acquire now in 2022 at the end of the year or before the year ended. So let me know what you guys think about them. Have you tasted them? What have you paid for them? What are your thoughts about everything that I got? I mean, all together it was a pretty big haul. I had to split it up into two because I didn't want these videos to be too, too long. But let me know what you guys think below. Love talking back and forth with you guys. Please like or dislike this video. Comment below as I said, subscribe because I really need your help with that. And check out that live stream Wednesday the 25th at, yep, you guessed it, 9 p.m. I will see you there. If you don't join that, if you do join that, you'll get a better um, placing in the giveaway, I'm, I'm assuming, but go back and check out that video just so you can see what that is. There's a little bit here. I'm gonna enjoy it, but I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.